Hello. Today we are going to try to calculate the speed of light with this microwave. So I have placed these two paper scaffolds to keep the chocolate above and with that it won't rotate so the waves will hit it directly and we'll be able to find the nodes which would tell us the half wavelength. The microwave is a standing wave and the points which do not move are called the nodes. The points which do move are called the anti-nodes and these yellow spots are where the chocolate will melt. The distance between two nodes is called the node length and the node length is half the wavelength. So multiplying the node length by 2 we will get the wavelength of the wave. So here we have the chocolate and I'm going to place it on the scaffolds I showed you before. Now what's going to happen here is as shown in the video before the standing microwaves will hit it in the spots, the yellow spots and the nodes will not melt while the anti-node spots will melt. So, and, so that's why microwaves have that spinny disk so that the points which are in the node region get heated and now we are going to just start the microwave and wait for the chocolate to melt. Here we are measuring the spots between the nodes to find out the wavelength. Now for any wave its speed is its wavelength multiplied by its frequency. Now the frequency of a microwave can easily be found on its box or at the back on its label. Now the frequency and the frequency of my microwave was 2450 MHz and through our experiment we found out the node length of its microwave. So now we'll just multiply the node length by 2 to get the wavelength and then we'll multiply the wavelength with 2450 MHz to find the speed of light. Now we have reached the final part of our experiment. So we are going to just put the numbers together and find the speed of light. So let me just write down the equations real quick and I'll see you soon. Yes, so we know that speed is equal to the wavelength into the frequency. And we know the wavelength of our microwave by calculating the node length from our chocolate experiment. That's the node length into 2, which is 6.1 centimeter. We found that into 2, that's 12.2 centimeter or 0.122 meters. And the frequency which we found at the back of our microwave was 2450 megahertz. That is 2450 into 10 to the power 6. So the speed is 0 0.122 into 2450 into 10 to the power 6. And we're going to just put those numbers in. So 0 0.122 into 2450 into 10 to the power 6. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 zeros. And we get 2989. Is that the right number of zeros? And here we go. 2989 oh, oh, 000. That is 2.989 into 1234567810 10 to the power 8. And the actual speed of light in a vacuum is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meters per second. And the result we got was pretty satisfactory. It's a bit short of the speed of light in a vacuum but the microwave is not a vacuum. So with this we conclude our experiment and we find that the speed of light can be actually be calculated pretty satisfactorily from a microwave. See you soon. This was Pustak Pathak.